uh, we will begin with uh, our Honorable Sheikh, uh, Sheikh uh, Asim al-Hakim, inshallah, from Saudi Arabia, to shed some light on the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala abdihi wa rasulihi al-Ameen. Nabiyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I believe that this is a challenge not only to myself or to the honorable panel but to any speaker to be given five minutes and asked to talk about the mercy of Allah عز وجل whom the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم described it by saying that Allah when he created mercy, he created it into 100 parts. He kept on earth one part and stored with him 99 parts for the day of judgment. From this part that Allah has laid on earth is when a beast uplifts its hoof, its leg, from stepping on its own child. All what we see around us on earth where a mother cares for her son, when a spouse loves, adores and cherishes his partner, when a son cares for his parents and the examples are endless, all of this is a glimpse of a one over a hundred of Allah's mercy. And of course, this is Allah's creation, which has nothing to do with Allah's beautiful attribute, mercy, which is one of his attributes and which is not created. This, these are two different things. So when you ask me to talk about Allah's mercy, I would... Yeah, and you think that this is a challenge. But in a nutshell, we are approaching the month of mercy, the month of Ramadan. So many times Allah's mercy overwhelms us like the sun overwhelms the whole world with its light. But because it's so strong and powerful, we're blinded by the light. We fail to see Allah's mercy due to our ignorance, due to our injustice, due to our own failures and shortcomings. So we complain and we say things without thinking or contemplating. While if we were objective and fair, we would have seen Allah's mercy in everything around us and in ourselves. Isn't it sufficient that Allah made us human beings capable of breathing, eating, drinking, communicating, enjoying the life we are enjoying, enjoying at the moment? All what you hear from people is complaints, complaints, complaints. And never ever hear from people the praise that Allah Azza wa Jal deserves. Never ever you hear people thanking Allah Azza wa Jal for all the blessings and favors that He bestows upon them all. Maybe this is because we are like a child driven to a surgeon to operate upon him looking at his father and the father is saying to the child it's okay it's going to be okay he's doing this for your own good and the child is wondering i believe my father i trust my father but the man has a knife in his hand and he's about to cut me open so if the child's confidence and trust and dependence upon his dad is, is true and genuine, things will be all right. And if not, then 
there would be problems. Allah Azza wa Jal has the highest of examples and the best of examples. وَلِلَّهِ الْمَثَلُ الْأَعْلَى We love Allah, we trust Allah, and we depend upon Him. Hence, we believe that this month is going to be the best month in our lives, insha'Allah. And it's going to be the best Ramadan of all Ramadans. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy this journey of mercy. Great positivity there. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh.